Welcome to the guide, Exile. In this guide, we are going to be taking an in-depth look on damage conversion, how it works, and why it is so powerful. Viewer beware, this video will be full of calculations and numbers, so rev up those brains, or calculators. In Path of Exile, there are many different sources and types of damage that we can deal. Because of this, there are many ways to scale damage, and it is not all that clear. One of the biggest confusions comes from damage conversion and how it works. Damage conversion is when we take a percentage of one damage type and convert it to another damage type. There are actually two types of damage conversion, and these are added as and converted to. The difference between the two is that converted to replaces the original damage with the new type, while added as preserves the original base damage and adds the converted damage to the total. These two forms will not conflict with one another, and both will work as long as you have the original base that the damage type converts from. However, for both types of conversion, the following is true. Conversion is done before any modifiers are applied to the damage. Converted damage is affected by the modifiers that the damage was converted from, and the new type that it now is. It is the second note there that really makes conversion powerful, as you are able to make use of more scalers from the passive tree, gems, or gear. On top of this, you can also fully convert from physical to a single element to gain benefits of elemental penetration. This is what I do in my Cold Conversion Spectral Throw build. Now let's take a look at each type of conversion to see how they work. First we will take a look at the simplest of all conversion types, added as. Added as preserves the original base damage and adds the converted damage to the total. This type of conversion is not bound and has no ceiling, meaning that you can have more than 100% of a damage type added as. There is also no limit on how many sources of added as conversion you may have. For example, let's say we have the following. We have 100 physical base damage, and we have the following conversion modifiers as added as. Hatred, added fire, and herald of ash. We will perform the following calculations to get the final damage values. As you can see, we are purely gaining damage on top of our base damage. This is why many people make use of Hatred or Herald of Ash, as getting a better physical weapon or picking up a physical weapon damage node in the tree will not only increase your physical damage, but will also increase the damage added from physical sources. Other powerful sources for added as conversion builds include items such as Adziri's Promise, which gains damage from the physical and converted elemental damage. Now let's take a look at an example of added as conversion that also has a source of flat elemental damage and various increased modifiers. For our bases, we will now have 100 physical and 50 cold. For our added as conversions, we will have hatred, added fire, and herald of ash. For our modifiers, we will have 100% increased physical damage, 50% increased cold damage, and 30% increased elemental damage. Now these modifiers will only be applied once, after the conversions are complete. So let's first get our new base damages after conversions. Now that we have the new base damages, we can apply modifiers to them. Recall that we can only apply modifiers to damage types of which they were and now are. So this means that our converted cold and flat cold will have different modifiers applied to them. As you can see for our converted cold, we are applying physical, cold, and elemental modifiers to it. For our flat cold, we can only apply what it is. This means we can only apply cold damage and elemental damage modifiers to it. Now after we have applied all of our modifiers, we can now add up all of the final values for our final total. As you can see, we don't get rid of any of our physical damage and we only add on extra elemental damage. Now that we have a feeling for the way added as conversion works, along with how flat damage sources pair in, let's take a look at converted to. Converted 2 converts the original base damage into a new damage type and then replaces it. Damage can also only be converted in the following order. Types of damage may be skipped, such as with the Hrimsaro gloves with physical to cold, but you may never go in the reverse direction. This avoids feedback loops and makes conversion deterministic. Again, the most powerful part of both conversion types, but especially in converting 2, is that converted damage is affected by the modifiers that the damage was converted from and the new damage type that it is. This means that if you convert all the way down the chain to Chaos, the Chaos damage gained through the conversion will benefit from modifiers to Physical, Lightning, Cold, Fire, and Chaos. Of course, performing this specific conversion is almost impossible and very difficult to make work. However, there are many other 100% conversions where you can make full use of all possible modifiers and elemental penetrations for that converted damage type, granting you many scaling options. Now, converted to damage cannot exceed 100%. If you have more than 100% conversion, it will scale the conversions to an equal total of 100%. Skill gems that convert damage will take priority in this situation and will remain at their set conversion. 
only conversions from the passive tree and gear will be scaled to meet the 100% conversion. For a simple converted to example, say that we're using the following. Lightning arrow, which converts 50% of physical to lightning, rim sorrow gloves, which converts 50% of physical to cold, and black gleam, which converts 50% of physical to fire. We have a total of 150% converted damage. This is of course too much and must be scaled down to 100%. The lightning arrow skill gem conversion will remain at 50% since it does not scale, meaning that the cold and fire conversions from the gear must be scaled. We must first take away the set skill gem conversions from our total. There is now 50% conversion remaining to be divvied up between cold and fire. Multiplying their conversion value against the percentage of conversion remaining will give us the final conversion numbers. In final, we have 50% lightning damage, 25% cold damage, and 25% fire, and no physical damage, since we have converted all of it to another element. If we take the same example, but also use the physical to lightning support gem, we will have another 50% of physical damage converted to lightning. We now have two gems that cannot scale, and their total equals 100% conversion. This means that any other conversions will be ignored. This makes the conversions from the Rim Sorrow Gloves and Black Gleam inert. Of course, with converted to damage, we can still make use of added as conversions, even if we have 100% of our damage converted to a different element. This is because all conversion calculations are done before the base damage source is converted to its final damage. To expand on this, let's take a look at a final, complicated example. I hope you all brought your calculators. Let's take a look at a complex example that makes use of multiple converted twos and added as conversions, as well as flat damage, increased, and more modifiers. Of course, this example will not be efficient, but we'll try and example how these conversions interact and are calculated. To start, let's say we have 100 physical damage, 50 cold damage, and 30 lightning damage. For converted twos, we have lightning arrow, cold to fire, rim sorrow gloves, and black gleam. For added as, we have hatred, added fire, herald of ash, and cold to fire, and finally our modifiers. Alright, now that was a lot of information. As before, we will first want to get our conversion to percentages. We are using the same converted twos as in our original example, plus a new one, cold to fire. So we will have the following. Now we can break it down by damage type. Let's go in order from least complicated to most complicated. For physical, we will be converting all of our damage from physical to an element. This means we will perform an impressive total of zero physical damage. Pretty simple so far. Lightning only has a simple conversion to and a flat lightning base. First we will want to complete our conversions to get our base numbers. Now we will want to apply our modifiers. We will add up our increased modifiers and multiply by all more modifiers. Remember, for our converted damage, it will benefit from all damage types that it was and now is. For our flat damage, we will only be able to benefit from the damage type that it is. Now that we have our final numbers, we can add them together for our total amount of lightning damage. Cold is a bit more complicated, as we now have added as conversions, and it is in the middle of a conversion chain. Again, we will first want to complete our conversions to get our base numbers. Here, we can get all of our physical to cold and physical added as cold, and then we can add these together, as they are both coming from the same source, just different types of conversion. Now we have to get our remaining cold damage after we convert 50% of it to fire. Now that we have our final cold bases, let's apply modifiers to them. Again, we will add increased modifiers together and multiply by all more modifiers. For our converted damage, it will benefit from all damage types that it was and now is. For our flat damage, we'll only benefit from what damage type it currently is. Finally, after we have our final numbers, we can calculate our total cold damage. Finally, we have fire, which is the most complicated. Here we not only have added as conversions, but multiple different sourced converted twos. We will first want to complete our conversions to get our base numbers. As with cold, we will have a physical to fire and physical added as fire. Once we get these base numbers, we can add them together as they both source from the same damage type. Now due to the cold to fire gem, we can also take the information we gain from our cold conversions to get our values here. Now here we are converting from physical to cold to fire, as well as from the flat cold to fire. This will result in the following base numbers. These cannot be added together as they both source from different damage types. We now have our final base numbers from conversions, so we can apply modifiers. We will want to add increased modifiers together and multiply by all more modifiers. Again, all of our converted damages will benefit from damage types that they were and now are. Now that we have gotten our final numbers, we can calculate our total by adding them all together. As we have now calculated all the parts of the damage, we can now look at the final values in comparison to their original values. As you can see, we have removed one damage type, added a new one, and scaled all of them. 
Well, congratulations! You have made it through another numbers lecture. There's truly a lot of hidden and complicated sourcing going on for your damage types, along with many different ways to scale it, which becomes very confusing. However, I hope with this guide, along with its examples, has shed some light on how the basics of damage conversions work and why they are so powerful. Now with this information in hand, maybe you can plan your own conversion build. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, Exile.